So when you look at C9 as a whole, you're probably thinking, okay, I could create a rectangle by determining the overall width and overall height by doing some adding. Um, and then I would have to do some offsets, a couple um, different types of chamfer. But I'm going to show you guys an easier way to do it. The part that's dimensioned right here, we could consider this as one part of the drawing. So if I create this one part of the drawing, I can then very easily use it to create the other three parts of the drawing. So I'm going to show you what I did in AutoCAD, and you guys should be able to do this very easily. Um, the commands that I used to create this, in case you couldn't determine this on your own, I did rectangle, explode, offset, and chamfer. The only thing with chamfer I want you guys to keep in mind is that you are going to be using chamfer with angle because you're given an angle and a distance. The other thing that I want you to make sure that you have recognized with this drawing is that this distance is one half and this is three fourths. So you're going to do chamfer twice. You can't do just the chamfer for the one half three times. Now if I go back to this drawing, I'm going to show you guys really one of my favorite commands in AutoCAD because of the ease that it allows you to create finished drawings. So I have at this point the drawing for part of the drawing that I need to create. So I'm going to type in MI for mirror. So this is where you'll probably want to take some notes for C9. This is the, the new command for the lesson. And MI again is the command alias for mirror. I'm going to hit enter. It's now asking that I select the objects so that I want to mirror. So I'm going to go ahead and select the entire object and hit enter. Now it's asking for my first point of the mirror line. I want this entire object to be flipped over and recreated over here. And I want that new drawing that's going to be created to be mirrored over this line of symmetry. So if I click this top line and click here, I haven't clicked yet, but you can see that this looks correct. Once I click, it's going to disappear. In order to make it so it stays, I hit enter. Now I could, if I wanted to, just select this part of the drawing, this one part, and mirror up, and then select this drawing, or this part of the drawing, and mirror over. Or I could do something a lot quicker and select the drawing, type in MI, and then select these two points because this is where I want my drawing to be mirrored or flipped over. I click that second point, I hit enter, and now I'm done with the drawing. Very easy, a lot what I would consider a lot more um, time efficient than having to create this entire drawing using rectangle and chamfer and offset by just doing one and mirroring it really twice. Once you get done with this, you will have to add dimensions. Please make sure that you add dimensions really only to this part of the drawing only. I'm not going to require it on the other areas because it is going to be the same. If we were turning this in for it to be created by business and industry, we would put typical so that they would know that these dimensions were typical for the entire drawing. Otherwise, once you finish, add Title Block and submit to Schoology.